Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Scott Patton, I'm Dean of Blogonomics and Pedology, and I am in Kirkenan, which is, I don't know, 50 miles, no, 50 kilometers off the coast of the line. Yeah. About 50 kilometers, yeah. yeah. And I'm at uh, Sailor's Desk, and I wanted to say Sailor's Bay for some weird reason, but I stopped myself, <laughs> <laughs> which is a co-working, co-living space mm -hmm. uh, that's just started quite recently, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're Fatan and you're Zach. Right. So tell us how you started doing this because we are in the middle really of nowhere. Yeah. We're surrounded by water. It's a beautiful island that uh, has no tourist development on it really to speak of, which is, makes it even better. Yeah. Right. And so how did you come up with this idea and how did you decide to do this? Uh, okay, uh, so uh, basically, so um, the founder of the idea, or at least the hero of the idea, is unfortunately not here with us, oh. Rafat. Um, so basically, he's uh, he's the one who uh, came up with the idea. Uh, so Rafat, uh, his story, um, like in 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 a few words, is that he was having a full time job uh, for like two years, and then he got really really fed up. He knew he was too ambitious for at least this the kind of job he was doing. Yeah. And then he decided to quit. And then he found this exchange program, which basically uh, where you go uh, with an entrepreneur and learn from uh, from this person for a month. Uh, so what oh. he did uh, is that he went to a co-living space in Morocco called Sandesk. Um, in Tazahut. Yes, in Tazahut, right. yes. Uh, so he went there for, for a month and he worked with, uh, with Magdalena, the founder of, uh, of Sandesk. Um, and then he really fell in love with the digital nomad community. Mm -hmm. With the digital nomad spirit, um, he, you know, like when he came back, he was like, "Yeah, we we need to do something like this in Tunisia. Okay. We're like so behind in everything, and we don't have a co living space in Tunisia." So, um, and Rafat is from the Karna, where we are today, and um, and we thought this place is the perfect spot for digital nomads because it's an island, it's full of resources. At the same time, it's quiet and, um, as you said, not very touristic. So. We, we we thought this is the spot uh, to be for digital nomads in order to show them more of Tunisia. Great. Yeah. So how did you both get involved? Yeah. Oh, man. I, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> see, I know uh, our hero and savior, Rafet, uh, <laughs> since a long time. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get a picture and I'll put it <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, it would be cool. <laughs> and uh, we went to the same college. We had, uh, you know... Uh, different, uh, you know, uh, exposures. We worked in different uh, kind of uh, activities, you know, extra uh, university activities. Uh, but the one thing that uh, um, that we both have is ambition. Mm -hmm. And so when he started, you know, thinking through uh, starting uh, Sailor's Desk, um, you know, just uh, called me exactly. and because you know, I'm, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm you know, just uh, you know, it clicked. Uh, he was so he's me. the brains, you're the brawn, yeah. and you're the beauty. There you go, you're perfect. I, I can be both. No. <laughs> I can also you be can the get... beauty. <laughs> yeah, get... so, uh, yeah, we, he was telling me about it, and, and we just got, to, you know, um, it clicked. And yeah. uh, Fenton was already uh, working with him, um, and, uh, yeah, you tell the story. Yeah, <laughs> of how. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, Rafat is my fiance. Okay. So yeah. that's why, like, when he came back and he was like uh, talking a lot about it, he's like, "Yeah, we need to do this and everything." And I was like, "I have a little bit of experience, you know, like more into like the management of this kind of things, and okay. uh, um, also in terms of social entrepreneurship." So I like we digged more into it, and um, we we started, you know, like planning for it and seeing what we can do and what can what we cannot. Do and everything um and, and yeah so that's how i get got involved oh, cool yeah so how long right now this is november 2017 yeah. so when would you say was like your opening day um uh, well basically it was uh, uh the beginning of november actually okay yeah like that's uh, that's when uh, we started so i'm on the cutting edge yes oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. you're like oh, yeah. <laughs> on top of it <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah basically like uh, where we wanted to do this like the vacation that we're probably going to yeah. talk about yeah. a bit 
Well, yeah, we just did a, yeah. we're in the middle of a workation. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll talk about that in a minute. But okay, we, but, yeah, yeah like j just um, to say that we wanted to organize this as an opening to Sailor's Desk and uh, as a pi pilot project for it mm. and then see how that goes and what we learn from this and we for sure want to do this much more often. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, because it's very, very... You know, it's awesome. Yeah. It's, it, it's been really good for me, and it's been really good, I think, for the attendees of the workation. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. We've been all been learning a lot and Perfect. connecting, and it's been really, That's right. really See, fun. The thing that we wanted to bring to the table, and the thing that you guys bring to the table and have been through, is that thing, that, that ingredient um, that for you is becoming a normal thing, but for us, the international ingredient that is. Uh, breaking the limits of the mind for me. Mm. When I was 16, I had my first international ex experience and Fetin had one too, and Rafi did too. And that is a life changer. When you go abroad and you you, you interact with, yeah. with people from different places and with different minds and all, that is something that we think is very valuable. And we wanted to, you know, to bring it to Tunisia because we have what you know it's um it's like we have everything yeah we have the kitchen we have the ingredients <laughs> and we're missing the salt and, <laughs> and you're bringing thank you, you know. for calling me a little salty dog <laughs> no, <laughs> you, <can't say> that. <laughs> you got it for yourself right <laughs> yeah you know I should have my sailor's cap on <laughs> the yeah. taste you know uh so yeah the flavor and um right we um we want you know we want that and oh, uh, nice. thanks to be so let's talk about. a little bit about the workation yeah. Yeah. yeah so first of all what is it <laughs> okay uh, I so, know what it is yeah the camera doesn't <laughs> I, yeah. I'm sure um, so basically Sailor's Desk digital workation is like the first event that we organize as Sailor's Desk um, and basically what it consists of is um, bringing together digital nomads and Tunisian people so that's the spirit that we wanted to ensure um, is to, ha to actually um, learn because we as people, as organizers, we were very inspired by mm -hmm. you, by Irene, by everyone, um, and, and, and by all of this community. And we thought, and we actually believe that you have so much to, to share and to teach the Tunisian people, not only in terms of experience, you know, like, everything that um, that you have learned over time in terms of what you're doing what you're how you sell and how you do everything that you do for a living uh, but also as an experience in terms of traveling in terms of seeing mm. so much of the world and putting everything into perspective thanks to that right so what we want to show our Tunisian people is that first there's so much to do in this world it's mm. not just about finding a job in the government or finding a job in private companies and then if you don't find then you're jobless and you just need to stay in the coffee and <laughs> and smoke for the whole day right and, and be depressed yes mm. exactly right. so that's like something that happens a lot in tunisia mm. a lot of people like finish school don't find a job and then they just stay at home but then they really really don't know all the opportunities that that the, the 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 digital world is providing us so so yeah so that's what we want to do in tunisia we are slowly but surely <laughs> getting more into the digital world um the government is i i guess doing its best um to to, to get us there but also we as citizens as um as social entrepreneurs as people as humans we need to bring more to this country right mm -hmm. we need to show them um all the ways by the means that we have um to, 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 to get there so yeah so that's our part so the digital workation is four days in Tartna, three digital nomads eight tunisians uh from uh, november 17th to november 20th um and, and yeah. a lot of energy and vibes yes. and, and food uh, yeah <laughs> and food, food is great yeah. uh, but on a more uh, i mean if this is yeah, practical enough serious. but yeah. on a more um, practical note you see tunisia is is very much a country that has limited resources compared to you know other uh, um, you know the gulf countries and right. all but what we have are the brains and cuz we, we you know we don't have much uh, oil much uh, so we need to get through 
yeah, keep up with, with other countries by our brains. So our people are very highly educated because we, we, you know, we, we need to be educated and we are very efficient and Tunisians um, tend to go, you know, abroad and get, you know, excellent jobs and all. Um, but then everybody doesn't, doesn't have the chance to do that. So um, bring and you don't in, want everybody to leave. Either. Yeah, and that's yeah. the point. We don't want everybody to leave. So if they can make um, a living that is quite, you know, um, generous without leaving the country, without, you know, um, going through the hardships of living abroad and, you know, uh, but really um, many people do not see their inner potential. They right. only, uh, you know, they go for studies. Sometimes it's just because... People told them to do so, engineering or, or engineering is good, but you know, you just mm -hmm. choose something and then you can have, you can develop other skills yeah. like photography, writing. And our team is actually pretty much that. We, we are all engineers. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, industrial engineers. But in reality, there, is, there are so much other skills that we personally developed and that we would like to, you know, to, 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 to work on. Uh, we have filmmakers. Um, I want to be an actor, you know. Well, you look it's like you're really a famous actor. Thank you. Oh that's goodness. encouraging. See, that's what I mean. Yeah. And, and I thought I recognized you. From yeah. That. Right. <laughs> that was me. And, um, right. And so if, if you don't have the chance to actually see the potential, because the basic rule is you need to survive as an adult. Mm -hmm. So if you don't see the opportunity to actually make a living uh, income out of, whatever skills you develop or you want to develop, then uh, you might not drop it and not work forward to it. But then the way you guys, DNs, are living is really breaking the limits, in my opinion, mm -hmm. of, of whatever is the traditional job that brings you money and yeah. you can survive with. You're taking that whatever is that you have um, to the next level and making it you know, worth uh, your lifetime. And just, oh, yeah. Thank you. I have to say that the, uh, the attendees, I think, are all very brilliant people. They've asked Absolutely. very intelligent questions. They dug a lot deeper. They kept me on my toes, I can say that for sure. <laughs> like, whoa, okay, I, have, <laughs> hey, I find the answer to this question real fast. And uh, they've been very compassionate and very passionate about what it is that they're doing. Yeah. And when I was coming, I didn't know if these would be people who had no idea what they wanted to do, or if these would be people that had other things that they were going on that they wanted to use the internet to complement. Right. And, uh, and I was just amazed with the, with the quality of the people and the fact that they had very clear ideas of directions that they wanted to go, which all made total sense. Like mm -hmm. sometimes people will say, here's my idea, and you go, oh, <laughs> how do I convince them not to yeah. do this? Right, right. Very smoothly. Very <laughs> smoothly. <laughs> And so it was just a delight. Yeah. You know, as we said, we're halfway through, yeah. and I've been very, very impressed. I've also been very, very impressed with uh, how friendly Tunisians are, how uh, how well the system works. I was we're I don't know how many hundred kilometers south of Tunis, uh, but I know Not that it's a have. taxi ride, a, a train ride, another taxi ride, a boat ride, and another taxi ride to get here. Mm -hmm. And um, not speaking. Uh, Arabic or Tunisian or uh, any of the local dialects yeah. and uh, and having very un peu français. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, I was a little worried, yeah, you know, sure. coming and it just was as smooth as smooth can be, even though each step of the way I had no idea if I was going to end up in the right yeah, place. Like, uh... <laughs> Is this train really going to this <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. But uh, I mean, it was just such a, a nice relief to get off the boat and to walk up and there was a taxi driver with your sign in yeah. his window and it was just like, <gasps> Oh, I'm pretty sure he knows where to go because yeah. I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> I have to amazing. say, even though there are the language bar barriers, Tunisia somehow has been cooked over the fire of multinationalities. Yeah. And I'm talking like hundreds of years thousands. to thousands of years of history. So we're at the spot where many people came by. We even had pirates, and that's the exciting thing. In pirates. Pirates. Yes. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> black beard and uh, red beard. You know. Really? Uh, they yes. came to all the way. They came. They used to come to Qartuna. Yeah. Ah. Yes. 
and the, the history behind this and and you know that's that's amazing this is just that uh, is. yeah we have so many people out. i mean pirates that's exciting man yes, yes. It and is. there aren't so, any around yeah. anymore no 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 i mean no <laughs> nah, that would be too fun yeah. uh, but, i wish they were yeah. though uh, but so somehow this has been you know uh, genetically, not really, I'm a biologist, I should not uh, say this, <laughs> but genetically inducted into us to love strangers um, mm. and, 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 you know, you know... And it comes across everywhere that I've yeah. been. I really yeah. have felt that I've been welcomed and uh, accepted right. and there's no... I guess let's talk a little bit about what is it like to visit Tunisia. Mm -hmm. Because I know lots of people, uh, first of all, oh, it's, you know, deepest, darkest Africa, yeah. you know, it's always... Yeah. You know, brilliantly, I mean, super, super hot and humid, which it hasn't. The weather here has been as nice as I could ask for as a Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. just been, right. it's just, of course, you, everybody here is wearing parkas, and yeah. I'm running around in shorts. Yeah, I know, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scott, aren't you, like, put on some clothes, aren't you cold? I'm like, oh, this is like perfect. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Man. yeah. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. Tunisia, to me, is a very friendly, very safe country to travel in. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I want to say that and emphasize it again and again and again. Tunisia is a very safe, very friendly country to come and visit. I mean, <laughs> look at us. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> Just as you need it to That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is, it is. It's, it's, um, there have been lots of efforts, um, you know, on all uh, levels, um, you know, uh, to, 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 from the government, from, um, you know, the EU, Canada, um, I'm talking on a bigger scale ever since, you know, the Arab Spring, um, lots of efforts on security, you know, and things are really just feel, I mean, yeah. uh, the country is safe, um, you know. So while there are bombs going off in subways in London and Paris, yeah, that's, this is a very safe that's place. That's the, the ironic thing, yeah, we, we have... We have a very firm grip over uh, any th kind of threats, um, and and yeah. Um, well, and you yeah. don't have anybody running around trying to shoot up people. Yeah, no, no, It's just this whole thing is really very funny to me because the the insinuation from a lot of the media that I see yeah. is it's very dangerous outside of your city, whatever that's yeah. that is. Mm -hmm. And my city, Vancouver, is always like one, two, three in the best cities in the world to live. Yeah. And I wonder like who is making that decision. <laughs> but, <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> you know, I mean, but it has these beautiful mountains and it has, you know, nice yes. scenery. I want to go there so much. Right. It, it, it has this great PR. But I read the paper. Yeah. And every single day somebody is shot or yeah. killed oh, or wow. a foot really? rolls up onto the, onto the shore. And it's yeah. just like because... It's a port city because there's lots of drug problems. Yeah. Uh, it's just, you know. There is the chaotic side there of There is that chaotic yeah, yeah, side yeah. of it. And of course, it's incredibly safe for everybody because yeah. as long as you don't go to certain areas at four in the morning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you know, because when you read the details, the yeah. person was shot at 3 a.m. Yeah. Right. So you know. That makes like, sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so if you go to sleep at a re the regular time and you're not like, out at the bars at four in the morning in the yeah. bad neighborhoods, then you're going to be fine. Yes. Right? Like so it adds up. It <laughs> adds up. Yeah. But there's, to me, as I'm traveling throughout a lot of the Mediterranean countries right now, uh, I, I get, the, there's this sort of, in the back of my mind, back of, like on my shoulders, like, oh, you know, it's dangerous here, it's dangerous <laughs> there. And I'm like, I'm going like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. and, but to me, I, that, that a voice on my shoulder is yeah. the mass media trying to instill yes. fear mm -hmm. and separation. And mm -hmm. I think that there's nothing better. Like one of my missions on my travels is to interview people like you so that my friends back home can yes. see you and say, wow, like they're like normal, normal people. people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Actually and, more fun than most of the friends that I have. Oh my goodness, you're going to be in trouble with your friends. I'm not going to be home for six months and <laughs> so, I'll yeah. forget. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't forget by then. Don't forget yeah. by then, right? So, uh, so yeah. So I just wanted to really emphasize because yeah. I think that's really important. It is. And when you look at where we are, mm -hmm. and then how it—I mean—it takes a bit of effort to come here. 
-hmm. and we really want to tell everybody it is so worthwhile coming yeah. here. So let's talk a little bit about the island. Like, yeah. Tell us a little bit about what's around the island mm -hmm. and a little bit of some of the things in Tunisia that we should see. Yes. Because this um, is all important to me because I've been having my map out. And yeah, trying telling to me yeah. where to go. Showing you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, for uh, Qalpna, it's, um, it's, a, it's an island. It's a small island in the southeast of uh, Tunisia. Um, so uh, so we, we take the ferry from Sfax, which is the, the industrial capital, actually, mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, of Tunisia. Um, and then uh, Qalpna is, uh, is a really, really friendly super quiet and calm and inspiring kind it of It has island. good barbers too. By yeah? The way. Right. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Didn't know about that. <laughs> yep. That's if you'd have seen me before, my hair was like... Really? Oh, was long? Like awful. It oh was my like goodness. <laughs> I feel... Uh, yeah. yeah, you should. <laughs> I'll let the barber lay yeah. I was a little worried because he got out a straight razor and he yeah, was that's like, totally uh, normal. <laughs> professionals. So, and everybody yeah. says the same thing like, no, <laughs> right. no worries. <laughs> um, oh, There's a lot of fishing here. Yes, yes. there are a lot of fishing. <clears throat> Most of the people here. Um, uh, work for for like for a living. They uh, they fish and then they sell like in the soup or uh, okay. like in the market, um, and uh, like that's what uh, most of the people uh, do around here. And um, they they go pretty pretty well with it. Like yeah, um, yeah, right. yeah. like uh, because there are a lot of uh, kinds of fish that exist here in Qatna mm. and not um, somewhere else in Tunisia. So oh. so yeah, like uh, so they can make a good living. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That was another thing that I noticed. Like this is not an air. This is not going to be like Waikiki in Hawaii. Yeah, I guess. They're not running around putting up high rises on the nicest beaches. No. No. Mm -mm. So this is very organic. Um, yeah. You know, the people just live in quietly, having their little fun. You know, they go to fish, and uh, on the day, and by the end of the night, they go for drinks and all. They they're really good. Um, they they Real live community. fully, yeah. you know, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's very chill, and they enjoy the presence of you know um, Tunisians from the capital or from everywhere else, or you know, kind of. Foreigners, even yeah. Tunisians are considered foreigners. Yeah. When you travel uh, like two hundred miles, oh, but they love hanging out with uh, with with new people and uh, you know going on uh, the boat for a ride, spend the whole day, you yeah. know, oh, nice. um, barbecue and drinks and just chilling. That's that's the. Um, if there's one color and it's not a color, it's chill. <laughs> that I would put on Katma. Yeah, it's, it's really that. It's yeah, yeah, just yeah. chill. Chill. The yeah. theme is that, and um, and yeah, and beyond Qatna, Tunis, Tunisia, is uh, as I said earlier, it's culturally very diverse, and um, it's a we small found country. that out last night because one of the attendees, yeah. uh, her father, put together a book yeah. on wedding dresses mm -hmm. in. Tunisia, and of course, I made the, the insightful comment that if you had a book on wedding dresses in Canada, it would be one page, a white dress, and you were done. <laughs> yeah, there's so was, much more. Oh, I know, it's so amazing, like the different uh, patterns and colors yes. that the different areas would have and the significance of it. It was amazing. I know. Bizarrely, uh, the um, wedding dress in Qarqna is originally like it has the it came from the Balkans. Oh. In fact, so far. And mm -hmm. that is, that gets us back to the pirate thing. Because yeah. they used to, they used to, you know, uh, abduct people, let's yes. say. <laughs> and, uh, and, or like, ask, the, ask them nicely to marry them. And if they don't uh, accept, they like... Nicely. That, I mean, nicely they're pirates. This wasn't nice. Yeah. 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 But okay, you just yeah. Yeah. coming. <laughs> and so they brought people from the Balkans. Um, I don't know, I mean, I'm not that good with the geography, but, you know, that part of the like world. Finland. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking more Lith Lithuania and all. Yeah, Lithuania, uh, it's, it's Estonia, also, yeah. yeah. And, and, Sweden, uh, it's all around the ball. Right. Yeah. And so, the, there is a very close, you know, matching, uh, in, like visually, in, in terms oh. of, yeah, the, the, the dress yes. that women uh, wear, because Paris used to bring people and women. Um, <laughs> no, they used to go there and bring them back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, there, okay. there was a pirate traffic that is, you know, in the Mediterranean Sea, it was quite, uh, you know, 
Interesting. And robust. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, robust. <laughs> that's, that's, that's let's call it. So, uh, right, from, just from the wedding dresses, I mean, that's what I heard. This might not be um, the full story, and I'm missing some points, <laughs> yeah. but you know, I'm just uh, showing off my knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, beyond, right, with, with so many uh, different places, so many yeah. different dialects. There's lots of ruins, lots of right. old yeah. Yeah. ancient buildings that you can go visit. Yes. The, yeah. The Roman yeah. Colosseums. Yes. yes. Even in Kartma, there is uh, some kind of castle ruins. And uh, I'm thinking it's um, Roman. Yeah. And, um, I hope we go see it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we should. <laughs> <laughs> Because if we do, I'll take a video and I'll put it in right here. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we have yeah you'll have that chance. <laughs> we'll go to the ruins. Yeah. Uh, and, and Roman ruins um, all over the place. Um, Phoenician ruins. Phoenician ruins. Um, there is also the Carthage. 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 Yes. Uh, yes which I think you are so missing uh, not like promoting... Carthage so mm -hmm. as much, I right? Because I, I mean, in, uh, growing up, it was like, oh man, there was this amazing civilization that threatened Rome, right? Yeah. The you little, know, you know, yeah. and, and I actually didn't realize it was right by Tunis. Yeah, I, I it knew is it was in Tunis. North Africa somewhere, and then when you look at the map, it makes sense yeah. that, that would be where it would be because it's so right. close to Rome. Yeah, I mean to Sicily and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Italy, but. I had no, I thought it was like destroyed and there was never, no, like maybe a little stick of cardboard. Oh, no, 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 no. But it's yeah. like, it's a little, it's nice still, little town. Yeah, it's, yes. You won't come to Tunis, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go and stay up in yeah, the Carthage should. Park for yes. like a couple of days. Yes. Right. And you can show off because you, you're, you're there. I yeah. The, yeah. The people who threaten Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> yeah. It's a little. We're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, Hannibal and the elephants and yeah, all that. Yeah, all that stuff is amazing. Right in. I have been looking for the elephants. I haven't seen any. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I, <laughs> yeah, that, that's really unfortunate. They, we also they have a zoo. Up. Yeah, yeah them up from all the elephants mm -hmm. go up and uh, go fight uh, Caesar. <laughs> and we'll just uh, chill yeah. here. So, yeah, yeah, you just chill here. Yeah, so, we're just, just, yeah, yeah, just work out. fighting. And yeah, so there's um, the Carthage. Uh, Civilization and you know all over the place and music, um, artists. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's there's a dynamic and it's it's like going back to heritages and um, restarting things with fusion. I mean, young people and even old people. I mean, age is just a number. People are trying to their best to like you know just go far with whatever they're doing. And art in Tunisia is is a thing. It's it's. People sing, people yeah. dance, people have fun. Oh, everybody sings. Like you just yeah. walk around here and all these people are singing. Right? I know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy about it, yeah. but a part of me is kind of like, I hope I don't have to join. <laughs> <laughs> you will have, have to you later because yes, we brought a guitar and a harmonica. Oh. Yeah, 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 we got it covered. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, uh, the Tunisian you know, heritage, the, the music, the traditional music that has been, you know, brought from kind of Spain. We've had lots of yeah. different yeah. influences, yes. right? A lot of different well, cultures. The other thing I didn't yeah. know was when, uh, I don't know, I guess we would say it was when the Muslims swept across North Africa and went into Spain yeah. as they were going over the top, mm -hmm. uh, the capital was very close to where we are right now. Yes. Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. Berlin. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was the capital. And uh, it has, it still has like, Monuments, not really ruins, like actual monuments, and it's that thing in there. Uh, it's called Fasqiya, and it's a water system um, that is, I guess, kind of inspired from the Roman aqueducts. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for going beyond, you know, all uh, of what you see in the media and all. Because yeah. this is a very cool place, very chill, and uh, somehow we love the name Stephanie. So that's uh, <laughs> another reason to come. It's it's a cool name. So uh, and and I'm Zach. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Your turn. Yes. Uh, so Stephanie, thank you so much for showing interest in coming in Tunisia. I think it's a really, really nice uh, of you to, as, as Zach said, see beyond everything that's happening in the media and what, that we see on TV. Um, there's a lot for in here to see, to do, to discover. Uh, I'm sure that, um, so where does uh, Stephanie come from? Canada. 
Canada I too. Think, okay. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure it's very, very different from Canada. Um, you will discover something very new. Um, you will see and and experience stuff that you would have never experienced, neither in Canada or the States or uh, Southern America or um, whatever. So, 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 yeah. This will be a unique experience. I, I, I assure you. So, please come. We are. Very, we would be very, very happy to have you, either here or in Tunis or showing you all over the place. Thank you. And sure. I have to say, too, being a digital nomad, the internet is great. Yes. Yes. And, oh, <laughs> my biggest worry was, am I going to be on 0.5 megs up and down? And, Five. Oh my and goodness. It was, it's been just a, a delight. And, and I've run through a few of their modems a couple times, but that's okay. They seem to have more. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got it covered. We got yeah, it covered. No it's just always our biggest worry. So, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So I want to thank you very much for thank inviting you. me to come here and be here Absolutely. and share this time with everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye.